<clears throat> Hi, uh, very good afternoon to every one of you. And uh, today uh, afternoon we are going to discuss the remaining question of exercise 10.2. Okay, and this will be the last exercise uh, from this chapter. Okay, so we have taken. Uh, I have written a, a questions. Question number four on the board. What does the question says? Prove that the tangent drawn at the end of a diameter of a circle is r parallel. This is a circle. So a circle is given with a center O. So we we'll write given first of all we we'll write the given things. What is given? Given a circle with center O. A circle with center O and radius oh sorry and diameter So these are the things given a circle with center O and a diameter AB. In which line L and M are tangent at point which point they are touching the circle at A and B at point A and B so we have written what are the things given a circle with center O and the diameter AB in which the line L and M are tangent okay at a point uh, A and B so we have written that okay okay fine so these are the things given now they are asking us to prove what to prove so to prove they are telling us prove L parallel to M. So this is the things we have to prove that this one and this one is parallel. Okay, you got it? Okay, fine. <coughs> now we will start. Okay. So already it is given uh, that that L and M are the tangent at a point A and B. So we will write first point angle angle A will be equal to r angle 1 will, will be equal to 90 degree since we have studied one theorem okay what is the theorem that radius is perpendicular to the tangent so this one we have done it okay angle 1 equals to 90 degree and similarly since m is also a tangent at point b then angle 2 also will be equal to what? 90 degree reason will be same ok so if angle 1 and angle 2 is equal to 90 degree that means therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is which is a alternate angle alternate angle so if the alternate angles are equal then definitely these two uh, lines will be what parallel that means therefore we write therefore line l is parallel to line n done it is very simple okay got it there students so if you want to write lengthy you can write it but this is the simplest way you can take it down in this way okay hope you have understood it was very easy questions now you can take it down and then we shall move on to the next questions okay yeah so the next questions uh, we have is what prove that the perpendicular at point point of contact of the tangent to a circle passes through the center okay that means we have to prove that at this point of contact this is the point of contact p this point p on the this point p at this point p the radius is perpendicular to point p that is what and this radius it will pass through the point o that is what they are asking us to prove so what we are given this is very simple just a simple questions only okay so given a circle with center at o we have been given a circle which is having the center where at o the tangent ab touches the circle at p this is the tangent AB which is touching the circle at point P. Okay, so what we have to prove perpendicular at point P to the tangent passes through O. 
means this radius which is perpendicular to point P it passes through the center so that one too we know everywhere every one of us we know very well that a radius will definitely if you uh, double it then it will definitely pass through a circle in the center so what we have done to prove that oh, small construction we did we have written join OP we have joined this two point OP okay and if you have joined this two point OP that clearly shows that uh, the line OP it passes through the center so we have written the perpendicular to the tangent this OP is perpendicular to the tangent AB passes through the point O that's it nothing is here in these questions okay or not now let us switch to the next questions dear students So now next questions we have is question number six what is the questions let's go through once the length of the tangent from a point a the length of a tangent from a point a there is one point which is outside the circle and uh, at a distance what is the distance of the point from the tangent it is uh, five centimeters from the centers okay just one second let me cross check the questions yeah it is five centimeters not three it is 5 cm from the center. So this point okay, is 5 cm away from the center of a circle is 4 cm. Okay. So the length of the tangent is how much? The, this is the tangent. So the tangent length is 4 cm. This point A is how much far away from the center? It is 5 cm five centimeter far away from the center. Okay. Now they are telling us to find out the radius of the circle. So this is the radius of the circle, right? So they are telling us to find out this one. Dear students, one thing you have to remember, these diagrams will not be given in your exams. You have to draw the diagrams, okay, by yourself. Got it? Okay, anyway, <clears throat> let's first start. What are the things given here? Let us write that. So given, first we'll write given. We'll write here given uh, AO equals to how much? AO equals to 5 centimeter and uh, this AP equals to AP equals to uh, 4 centimeters okay got it AP equals to 4 centimeter AO equals to uh, 5 centimeters and they are asking us to find out what OP OP equals to question mark that is what we are going to find out so obviously we have studied in the first lectures those who have not watched my mm, lecture number 32 you can go and watch to my channel okay academy master mathematics class tense it will be there i have discussed all the theorems related to this chapter there so once if you have not watched that video please go and watch okay and then you can come down to this videos okay <clears throat> now op equals to uh, equals question mark now one thing we have already studied in the earlier lecture that angle a o p or oh, sorry angle a p o is equals to 90 degree why it will be 90 degree because radius is always perpendicular to the tangent because radius is perpendicular to tangent we have already discussed in the theorem so we have written that means this is a 90 degree if this is 90 degree dear student if this one is 90 degree then definitely this becomes a right angle triangle that is uh, triangle AOP is a right angle triangle right angle triangle okay now if it is a right angle triangle then we can use now what higher um, <coughs> high, uh, we can use the Pythagoras theorem so now we're right here using Pythagoras theorem okay so we'll be using here Pythagoras theorems. According to Pythagoras theorems, the opposite sides of perpendicular is what? Hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. This is your base and this is your perpendicular. So this one is base, this is hypotenuse, this is your perpendicular. Okay. So we'll write here Pythagoras theorem star formula is what? Hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So hypotenuse is what here? Hypotenuse is nothing but AO. So we'll write here AO square. And what is the base here? Base is given as uh, AP, AP square plus perpendicular is OP square. So OP square. Now we'll substitute the value. Okay, what is the value of AO? AO value is given here 5 
So we'll write here 5 square. What is the value of AP given? Value of AP is 4. So we'll write 4 square and OP value we are finding it out. Okay. So now we bring this uh, 4 square this side. So 25 square minus uh, 16 equals to OP square. Now I will be writing it this side. There students you can take a trouble of looking it. Okay, so 25 minus uh, 16, it will be 9. So OP square equals to 9. Then 9 square root. This square will be shifted this side. Then it will become what? Square root. Then 9 square root is what? 3. So our value is what? Therefore, the required radius is equal to 3 centimeter. Therefore, the required radius equals to 3 centimeter. That is our answer okay dear students so question is very simple like this kind of questions it's important for the board exam if it comes in your board exam it is just like a gift to all of you okay so take it down and then we shall switch on to the next questions okay Okay friends, uh, so we are going to do question number 7, don't be scared with the diagram, diagram is very scary, I know, <laughs> that is because it is not a complete circle, but all of you again I am telling you, please try to draw with a compass properly the circle, okay. So what is the question, let's go through, what is the question says, it says two concentric circles, there are two concentric circles are there, okay, two concentric circles are of radius 5 cm and 3 cm. There are two circles. Concentric means one inside the other. That one we call it as a concentric. So here is the smaller circle and another one is the bigger circle. Both the radius is uh, at this, uh, both the center is at same. Oh, so the radius of the bigger circle is five centimeter and the radius of the smaller circle is three centimeter. It is given in the questions. So find the length of the chord of the larger circle. So we they are asking us to find the length of the chord of a larger circle which touches the smaller circle okay so this is the chord okay as i have already discussed with you in the first videos related to chapter 10 all this what is called tangent and uh, non-intersecting line a second all these things i have discussed with you dear students so if you have not watched my first video please go to my channel <coughs> academy master and you can watch the a video from there and then you can come and attend this uh, you can come and watch this video so that you will understand or else it will be very difficult okay so chord is nothing but a line which touches the circle at two points so one two it is such a, it touching the circle at two points so we can call as chord or we can call it as a second also so this is a chord a b car length they are telling us to find it out okay so we will do that okay but first of all, uh, for finding out that, there are some steps which we will have to follow before that. So what we have written? Given two concentric circles with radius 5 and 3 cm. So we have already, it is given in the questions, there are two circles with radius 5 and 3 cm. Done. We are considering that let AB be the chord of a bigger circle. This AB is there. Huh? So we are considering that let AB be the chord of a bigger circle. And this AB is a chord to the bigger circle, but for the smaller circle, you see it is intersecting at one point or not. So it is a tangent. Okay. This AB is a chord to the bigger circle, but since it touches the smaller circle at one single point, so it will be called as what? Tangent to the smaller circle. So we have written here, let AB be the chord of the bigger circle and tangent to the smaller circle. Okay. Dear students, clear? Now, if this point P is uh, intersecting point for the smaller circle, then definitely this AB will be what? Tangent to the smaller circle. And if AB is tangent to the smaller circle, there students, already I have discussed with you in the first video that a tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So OP is what? Radius of the smaller circle. So OP will be perpendicular to AB. That means this angle, you look at this angle will be what 90 degree and this angle also will be 90 degrees so we have written here angle APO APO and angle BPO BPO is equal to 90 degree why because OP is perpendicular to AB how because we have already studied that radius is always perpendicular to the tangent 
So this is the OP is the radius and tangent is AB. Now we have considered we are going to prove that this triangle and this triangle are similar. Why? Because we want to prove that AP and BP is also same equals. Okay. So in right angle the triangle AOP, AOP we have considered and triangle BOP, BOP. So here first thing which is going to be equal is this one and this one. These two angles will be equal. OPA equals to angle OPB. So why it is equal? It's being 90 degree. OP is equals to OP. OP is equals to OP common. OA. OA is the radius and OB is the another radius. So it will be equal. Why? Because radius of a circle. So the radius of a circle is always equal. Okay. Now with these three points triangle AOP will be similar to triangle BOP by which theorem by RHS theorem okay got it so if you have understood this now take it down and then we shall proceed further okay since these two triangles are similar definitely these two sides will be equal so we'll be discussing it first of all you take it down okay Okay, so now we have uh, proved that these two triangles are similar. If it is similar, the all sides will be equal. So this one and this one it will be uh, equal. So AP is equals to BP. Okay, congruent means AP will be equals to BP. Okay, not similar but they are congruent. So their sides are equal. AP is equals to BP. Got it? So what we have written AB is equal to in place of AB if this AP and BP is equal then AB will be equal to what? If you write AB then it will be equal to AP plus BP or not? So we have written AB equals to AP plus BP. But we have already proved that AP is equal to BP. So in place of BP we can write AP. So it becomes what? AP plus AP it becomes 2 AP and here it will be equal to what? 2 BP. Got it? <coughs> Which will be equals to 2 BP. Now in right angle triangle BOP, you can consider this one also AOP also you can consider no problem. Same thing only you get. Uh, now I am considering BOP. So in right angle triangle BOP, this is the hypotenuse. Again I will write it here. This one it will be act as a hypotenuse. This one will act as a perpendicular. This one will act as a base. Okay. So here OB. OB is what? How much? 5. So 5 square. OP. OP is how much? 3 centimeters. So 3 square. And BP is how much? We don't know. We are finding out. So BP is square. So 5 square is how much? 25. And nine, uh, 3 square is how much? 9. So we brought it this side. So minus 9 is equal to BP square. So 25 minus 9 it will be 16 equals to BP square. Root uh, this square. If I bring it this side, this square. If I shift it this side, then it will become what? Square root. So BP equals to 16 square root. So square root of 16 is how much? 4 cm. So we got the value of BP equals to 4 cm then definitely AP also will be equals to 4 cm. Therefore the length of the quad AB equals to AB is equals to what we got? 2 i of BP. So twice of BP 2 into 4 that is equals to how much? 8 cm. So the length of this quad AB is how much? 8 cm. So this is question number 7. Okay, all of you, I hope you have understood. Now you can take it down quickly so we can move on to the next questions. So, uh, now the next questions we are going to do is question number 8. Okay, a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to circumscribe a circle. A circumscribe means what the circle will be inside and outside will be quadrilateral it will be touching the externally okay so prove that a b plus c d a b plus c d is equals to a d plus b c we are going to prove it that okay the sum of the opposite sides is equal that is what they are asking this one and this one is opposite so sum of these two and the sum of these two it is equals they are asking us to prove it so for that what we will do very simple it is so we will write solutions Given ABCD is a quadrilateral which circumscribe a circle of center O. This ABCD is a quadrilateral, it is circumscribing a circle of center what O. This is done given proof. 
what we are going to prove AB plus CD, the or sum of opposite side is equals to another opposite side, that is AB plus CD is equals to AD plus BC. We are going to prove it, okay? Now, proof. What we will do? Again, same thing, dear students, those who have not watched the first video, have to watch because everything is related to the, that theorems and all those things, okay? So, here, AS will be equals to AP. AS is equals to AP because this point is you, you can say that point a is nothing but external point from the external point we have drawn a tangent to this circle so always remember length of the tangent drawn from a common internal external point is always equal so for both p and s that for both this tangent the common point external point is what a so the length of as and the ap will be equal okay i have written here okay Similarly, we will be seeing here BQ equals to BP. Why? Same reasons. Length of the tangent from the external point is same. Then again, CQ equals to CR. CQ equals to CR. Same reasons. This is the external point and these two are the tangent to the circle. Next, DS equals to DR. DS equals to DR. This is the external point and this DR and DS is the uh, tangent from the external point. Okay, so same reason. So I have written here do. Now what we are doing? Equation one, equation two, equation three, equation four. We are adding it. Okay, so adding equation one, two, three, four. Left hand side will add it on the left hand side. Right hand side will add it on the right hand side. So I have written here AS plus BQ plus CQ plus DS. This side all I have added it equals to this side AP plus BP plus CR plus DR. I have added it. Okay. Now we shall be proceeding to the next step okay got it now we shall pair up properly first of all you can take it down then we will proceed it ahead okay okay <clears throat> so we are uh, now what we are going to do we are uh, pairing it up ss together qq wala together pp and rr together okay so we are written here as plus ds okay bq plus cq so if you add as plus ds then s is common eliminated what is left ad then bq plus cq so bq plus cq total is what bc or not so we have written bc ap plus bp see here ap plus bp so total is what ab next is cr plus uh, dr cr plus dr so total is what cd so we have written this is equals to what AB plus BC is equal to AB plus CD. This is what they are asking us to prove. Okay, dear students, and these questions, dear students, it was asked in 2010. CBSC, okay, 2010, this question was asked for three marks. Okay, so all of you remember, even in the NBSC also, the state board also, it, this question is important for the state board also. So I request all of you to practice this thing, this chapter properly because you will get around four to five marks from here. So and this chapter is very very easy for your board examinations as well. Okay. So hope all of you have understood today's lectures. I will not prolong the video. I don't want to make a long lengthy video and make you bored. So I'll be making a short short video of around twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, so that you can watch it quickly and learn it easily. Too much question together it will be a burden to you okay so uh, if you are new to the channels and if you are getting benefits with this then let your friends also get benefit with these channels which is free of cost don't hesitate to share these uh, channels with your uh, videos with your friends likes at least one like is compulsory you should uh, give one like if you like it and another thing is that if you are new to the channel dear students don't forget to subscribe my channel okay so that you can get a notifications whenever I upload a new videos. Okay, with that I wind up today's videos. Thank you everyone.